ever wrong. I'm just reacting to this. The man who fought with Khan. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I choose to react to this. Let's get into it. And also, I guess I'm a Christian. Let's get into it. The biblical book of Genesis describes the relationship between Jacob and Esau. Whoops. Rebecca, personality clashes play a significant role in Jacob and Esau. Yeah. No, I like the story because that reminds me of me because my name is there. And I was always going to start with him. Yeah. Let's just get into it. It was conflict. Esau was outgoing, whereas Jacob preferred to stay at home. Almost like me. This may not have been a problem in and of itself, but it appears to have led to the parents picking favorites. Isaac admired Esau because he was a man's man, and Rebecca admired Jacob because he enjoyed spending time at home. Jacob and Esau are now in a feud, firstly because, one day, when Esau arrived famished from a day of hunting, he made an extremely foolish trade. In exchange for a bowl of food, Esau gave Jacob his inheritance. Jacob, quick to capitalize on Esau's hunger, decided to squeeze him for all he was worth. Sell me your birthright. He even made Esau swear an oath in order to put him on the hook. Second, the brother. Him, both of them, Esau and... Jacob or actually total twins. Yeah. Others were at odds because as Isaac grew older and faced death, he decided to bestow his blessing on Esau. Although Jacob had already stolen the birthright, the physical inheritance, Esau still had the opportunity to inherit his father's blessing, which was the more important spiritual inheritance. The blessing represented God's operation in the family line so that no matter what showers and storms raged around them, they were safe. Isaac began the ritual of passing on his blessing by summoning his older son Esau and asking for a delicious meal so that he could bless him before he died. Isaac preferred Esau's wild game and requested that he go hunting for an animal that they could share during this sacred time. However, Rebecca discovered this and informed her beloved son Jacob, who posed as his brother and accepted his brother's spiritual blessings I remember that story of that. After evading some questions from his father, Isaac bequeathed to Jacob his most valuable possession, the blessing he had received from his father Abraham. May God bless you with an abundance of grain and new wine from the dew of the sky and the riches of the land. The plot thickens because, as Jacob was leaving the presence of his father Isaac, his brother Esau returned from his hunting expedition. The blessing cannot be revoked by the time Isaac realizes what has happened. Rather than receiving from the dew of the sky and from the riches of the land, Esau was told that his home would be far from the richness of the land and the dew of the sky. It's no surprise that Esau harbored a grudge against Jacob and plotted to kill him. Rebecca, Jacob's mother, was an eavesdropper and discovered Esau's murderous intent in time to hatch another plot. Jacob.